You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 1007. Today's Devo is called Perfect Peace. Hey there, we're the Alessis, a ministry family working together in our church in Miami, Florida. And if you're like us, when days get busy and to-do lists get longer, it can be hard to find devotional time. That's why we've partnered with our friend Allison to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning, everybody. I am so excited for today's devotional because my sister Lauren Alessi is here and she's going to be sharing with us. Hello, everybody. It's good to be here. She is sharing some really interesting insight on peace this Mm. week, which I could speak for everyone we need. Before we get into that, I want to remind you that we have a new texting feed for you guys to share with us, and we are receiving your your text. We actually got one from Las Vegas, so mm-hmm. thank you so much for sending that over to us. You can still send in your DMs to us on socials. We are reading all of them. We love being in communication with you guys, so continue to share. Lauren, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Take it away. So today's verse is found in Isaiah, and to give some backstory, Isaiah, of course, is a prophet in the Old Testament, and it's actually a song that he sings. This The verse I'm reading from comes from a full chapter, and it's a song, and the song starts off, and it says, in that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah, and the verse is Isaiah 26, 3, so I'm going to fast forward to 3, and it says, you keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. So I think it's important to remind people listening that, again, Isaiah is a prophet, and he's talking about how this is a song that's going to be sung in the land of Judah, because we could declare peace over ourselves even Mm -hmm. when we don't feel it. Mm -hmm. Because that's Isaiah, what Isaiah is doing in this verse. Even though it may not seem like a totally peaceful time when he's saying this, He's saying, this is a song we're going to sing when we take over the land of Judah. And even though you may be in a season right now, we may not all be in a season right now where it's super peaceful. We can sing this song. We can sing this whole chapter. We can sing this verse. Keep me in perfect peace, God. My mind is stayed on you because I trust in you. I trust in the Lord forever. Or actually, you can say it like, you know, my mind is stayed on you, God, because I trust in you and you keep me in perfect peace, God, because my mind is stayed on you, yeah. because I trust in you and I trust yeah. in you forever. You, Lord, are an everlasting rock. And I find it so beautiful that it's not just called peace, it's called perfect peace. And I think that is a peace that surpasses all understanding. Yeah, That's something that truly comes from faith and surrendering everything to God and You don't get that perfect peace without surrendering all your anxieties, surrendering all your confusion to God. You don't get that perfect peace without some surrender. And so I really want us to remember this song, remember this prophecy, because again, even though you're in a time where it may not seem so peaceful, you can declare this verse over your life. You can declare peace over your life until you really, really start to feel it, because that's what this prophet did in the Bible. Amen. That's amazing, Lauren. And I love that you said the perfect peace. Yeah. Because God's not just going to give you any earthly type of peace. He's going to give you something that's supernatural. Yeah. So if you're even wondering, how will I get the peace that I dream of? Mm -hmm. How will I ever become that stress-free, worry-free person that I can only imagine in my head? Well, it's because you're receiving a peace that's from heaven, Mm -hmm. not an earthly peace. And it's a perfect peace. Yeah. And that's actually great because we're going to be talking about that more tomorrow. (laughs) Oh, beautiful. Then come back tomorrow. (laughs) Lauren, can you pray us out? Yes, of course. Dear God, we thank you once again for the opportunity just to come together like this and talk about not just earthly peace, God, but your perfect peace, God. Again, I just start to rebuke the enemy in his ways, God, for our listeners, for the people even in this room right now as it's being recorded When we start to speak on peace and perfect peace, godly peace, Lord, we know the enemy is going to try to attack our peace and our rest, God. So we just rebuke that in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we just pray that as this week rolls out, that everybody listening experiences that perfect peace we're talking about. And if there's any anxiety or confusion they're holding on to, Lord, any restlessness they're holding on to, God, let them be able to leave it on the altar, God, completely and wholly surrender it to you, God. Let them be able to talk it out with you, God, and be Mm -hmm. open and honest with you about that, Lord, so they can experience your perfect peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
So there you have it, your five minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. If you found value in this devotional, share it with a friend, leave a comment or review for us on the app you're using right now. Until tomorrow, we pray that your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.